In this video, we are going to review how to rename a transaction in the register and add a renaming rule so that future transactions are renamed. In this example, we are going to rename a transaction in our register that has some extra information that came in when the transaction was downloaded. We are going to use this Habaneros transaction. As you can see, it has some extra information in there and we want to clean that up. Double click the transaction and then delete or edit the information that you want to change. Once you make the change, new options will appear above the transaction. As you can see on the left, there is a checkbox to also rename existing and future transactions. If you leave this unchecked, only this transaction will change. You'll also see this drop down arrow on the right, which will let you switch between existing and future or just future transactions. You'll also be able to click to show more options. Here you'll be able to make other adjustments such as adding more words to the Quicken payee name and what you want the payee name changed to. Also, if you have this apply rule to existing transactions, you will be given this review button. Once clicked, you will be taken to a transaction list showing other existing transactions that match the renaming rule criteria. In this case, we don't have any other ones that match this. Once you review them, click apply and save. This will create the renaming rule and going forward, transactions that meet that criteria will be renamed. If you've made any other changes to the specific transaction, just click out of it to save those changes. You can also manage your renaming rules through the new Pays and Rules screen. You can access this through the Pays and Rules option under the Windows menu. On this screen, you will need to make sure you're on the Renaming Rules tab. Here you can see the list of all the renaming rules you have created. At the bottom, you will see the minus sign, which is to delete any renaming rules. You can also click the pencil icon to edit renaming rules. Here you can update various parts of the renaming rules, such as what you want the payee to be renamed to, and whether or not you want the new rule to apply to existing transactions. If you do choose to have it apply to existing transactions, you will get the review button. Here you will see what other transactions will be affected by this update. Here you can see we have one existing transaction that will be affected by the changes that we have made. When you are done reviewing the transactions listed here, click apply and save. The third option available is to create a new renaming rule which you can access by clicking the plus sign at the bottom. This will take you to the Create Renaming Rule screen that we went over at the beginning of the video.